I would like to say two lines in my mother language, Bangla. সমুদ্র পৃষ্ঠের উচ্চতা বৃদ্ধি জনিত এবং চরম জলবায়ু সংকটের কারণে সরাসরি ক্ষতিগ্রস্ত মানুষের সংখ্যা পৃথিবীর যে কোনো জায়গা চেয়ে বাংলাদেশেই বেশি তাই সিওপি টোয়েন্টি সেভেন এবং সিওপি টোয়েন্টি এইট জলবায়ু বিষয়ক পরবর্তী এই দুই সম্মেলনে বিশ্ব নেতাদের একটা সুনির্দিষ্ট কর্মপরিকল্পনার সিদ্ধান্ত সকল দেশের চেয়ে বেশি প্রয়োজন বাংলাদেশেরই এই গাঙ্গেয় ব দ্বীপের মানুষেরা ঘর বাড়ি হারিয়ে পরিণত হচ্ছে জলবায়ু উদ্বাস্তুতে আমি বিষ্ণুদের কাছে দাবি করছি এখনই একটা বাস্তবিক পদক্ষেপ গ্রহণ করুন এই অসহায় মানুষগুলোর জন্য author of uh, several publications and uh, very outspoken about uh, the role of uh, youth uh, in climate action. Please uh, share with us uh, your perspectives on what the UN should do, what organizations like uh, IAI, Glotcha, IYC Network also should do or what every one of us could do to tackle the climate crisis. Thank you, Mr. Polzer, for introducing me. But I would like to introduce, introduce to you all a friend of mine from Bangladesh named Asha. Asha means hope. Her parents named her Asha because the year she was born, in 1992, was a year of adoption of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. This framework was a great hope to her family, as in, in the immediate last year, in 1991, they had lost their home, harvest, and livestock by the deadliest tropical cyclones on record, causing over 140,000 deaths and showing the consequences of climate change. Like other speakers today have mentioned, unfortunately, the substantial reduction of the commitments of substantial reduction of greenhouse gas emissions in this framework remained as a paper recipe. No real food was ever cooked. But Asha and her family did not lose their hope, as in, in 1997, our leaders adopted the Kyoto Protocol. But within less than one year, in 1998, Asha and her family experienced the most deepest, extensive, and longest-lasting flooding of the century, leaving contaminated water, causing cholera and typhoid outbreak. But Asha, since Asha literally means hope, they did not... They continued to keep faith on our world leaders when they consented to agree upon the Bali Action Plan in 2007 and the Copenhagen Accord in 2009. But in 2007, they were struck by Cyclone Sidr and in 2009, they were struck by Cyclone Isla in the exact same years as when those conventions were organized. Um, Asha lost both her parents in a cyclone in the cyclone Sidr in a landslide and their farming land turned saline and their natural water source was inundated with salt water. But still Asha kept faith on our world leaders when they acknowledged climate mitigation and sustainable adaptation in the Paris Agreement in 2015 with a commitment to mobilize more than a hundred billion dollars a year. But instead of getting even a single dollar rehabilitation project, Asha became a climate refugee. Not Asha alone, only in the last year, climate-related factors have resulted in the migration of around 8 million youth. It is estimated that by 2050, almost 100 million youth will be forced to leave their homes as a result of deforestation, desertification, sea level rise, and extreme weather conditions. Exposure to extreme weather irregularity and rapid rainfall fluctuations make them more prone to recurring drought or rainfall. So now I don't have the courage anymore to look directly into the eyes of Asha and tell her to hope for anything from our world leaders after the failure of the Glasgow Climate Pact 2021. Sea level is rising 2.3 meters per one degree temperature rise. And as for one meter rise of sea level, 30 million people, like Asha, are losing their homes in the coastal regions. And who is responsible for this? The leaders of the first world countries, the governments of the highest carbon emitting countries. 
they have catastrophically betrayed humanity at large by failing to protect the people most affected by the climate crisis. They have discarded the most marginalized communities as expendable collateral damage. Dear leaders, if you fail again in the COP27 to make a commitment to maintain the global temperature rise at one degree Celsius, it will condemn more than half a billion people, mostly in the global south, to insufficient water and to extreme heat waves. It will be bitterly disappointing to see any loopholes in the COP27 agreement which will bow to the interests of fossil fuel subsidy corporates rather than our rights. The agreement shall call for the phasing out of all fossil fuel subsidies, an action which is much needed at this current time. The Glasgow Climate Pact, for all its restrained and diplomatic language, looks like a suicide pact. After so many denials, distractions, and delays, it is too late for incremental change. What we need at the COP27 is a strong decision to burn no more fossil fuels after 2030, because there is no room to compromise the real zero emission strategy. We all, in, we all need a deal in the next climate conference at Egypt, and no other country needs it more than my country, Bangladesh, does. There are more people in Bangladesh suffering from extreme conditions and extreme heat waves than anywhere else on this planet. Hence, as a victim of climate change caused by the highly industrialized countries, I demand to the first world countries to share their skill and knowledge of climate technology and to invest on clean energy in Bangladesh. I demand our world leaders to stop playing this dirty card of politics using the climate refugee and to act immediately in favor of these vulnerable people. Because the extreme conditions and bitter experience that the people of Bangladesh are facing right now will soon affect us all. So as my closing remarks for this speech, I would like to say two lines in my mother language, Bangla. Shomudra Pishthir Uchuda Briddhi Jonito Ebong Torom Jolobayu Shankotir Karone Shorashuri Khotir Gosto Manusher Shankha Prithi Birje Kono Jaga Che Banga Deshei Beshi Tai COP27 Ebong COP28 Jolobayu Bishayak Poroborti Ei Dui Shammelone Bishaneto Der Akte Shu Nidrishto Komo Pori Kalpana Shidhanto Shokol Deshei Che Beshi Proyodon Banga Deshei Ei Gangeo Bodhi Per Manushera Ghor Bari Hariye Pori Neto Hotse Jolobayu Udbastu Te আমি বিষ্ণুদের কাছে দাবি করছি এখনই একটা বাস্তবিক পদক্ষেপ গ্রহণ করুন এই অসহায় মানুষগুলোর জন্য থ্যাংক ইউ থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ ফাতিহা ফর ড্রয়িং আওয়ার অ্যাটেনশন টু দিস মোস্ট ভাইনারেবল পিপল 